Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Journey YouTube channel. This is I the Great again. You don't know. Welcome back, welcome back, guys. Um, today will be a continuation of, you know, a continuation of the diet, old diet video, you know, live up, not diet, because remember, we're not dying anymore. We're immortal beings, right? We're not dying anymore, you know. <laughs> so, finish off of the diet thing, but, uh, you know, this is a continuation of the video I'm going to do the last time about diet, right? Now, going back to physical immortality, which is the same thing I'm going to speak about, um, it was mentioned in the Bible that um, the physical can take on immortality, you know? When the physical, when the mortal takes on immortality, the Bible spoke of it, you know? And, but no Christians don't even know said the physical body can become immortal. You get to me I said? No. But the physical body already immortal. Let me explain something to your peeps. You see this physical being that you have, yes, it is a vessel, I understand. And it's a vessel where the spirit resides in you know, or whatever ideas, you know, most esoteric people have, you know. But not the right idea. I'm not bash nobody. But listen to that part here. The spirit physical body is now separate from the spiritual being. You get what me I say? Because if you know about frequency and vibration in the universe, the laws of frequency and vibration say anything a being touches or occupies or even even if you look upon it, you know, anything the being observes is the being's frequency. So believe it or not. So that means that if a being occupy this vessel, you know, this vessel has to be a direct reflection of the spiritual, you know, spiritual being. So now, let me show you, break it down um, more clear for you guys. Check levels. Melanated beings, the reason why we appear melanated, we are all spiritual beings, right? Even the dog is a spiritual being and the cat. We are all spiritual beings. So even, so the melanated being, why do you think we appear melanated, dark? Why do you think we appear so dark and Caucasian people look pale? It's based upon the reflection of the, of the vibration of the being. Make the being appear a certain type of way because I tell you, your physical body is a reflection of your spirit. So you can look for your physical body and you can study your physical body. And I saw, I, this is how the Egyptians then didn't know so much about the universe. They literally used to study the physical human body because they knew that the physical human body is no separate from the spiritual body, which is the whole cosmic, you know, which is the whole universe because so above, so below, so they know say we, the melanated body is the whole universe if you cut it open, you can find fucking star system based on just your body what do you think we used to um, draw a map, what do you think um, ancient people used to do cartography they used to use the star, they used to use the human body and know to find places, places in the heavens represent places on earth that's how they used to find places you know, because the heavens represent the earth, the spirit represent the physical, the spiritual represent the physical. You get the message? It reflects it. It reflects it, you know, it mirrors it. You know, the physical and the spiritual mirrors each other, you know, so it's no separate thing and the same thing, you know, but most people can't really grasp it for some strange reason, you know. And so now, physical immortality, I just explained what already um, immortal beings, you know. Based on that, we just experience because we are now separate from spirit, and spirit is immortal, right? So, yeah, that is where we are. So, for the fact that we are already immortal, why you think this physical being not have to die? Death, the thing where we call death in this dimension, is literally just your body transcending the dimension, you know? It means that you reach a certain, you are vibe at a level where you can't exist in this reality no more. Would that be a, a, a too violent? and they end up set up yourself, attract police to kill you or other gang members to kill you. You end up vibe on the right, you know? Frequency of the earth, that's why you end up finding yourself in a situation where you exit. It's simple. If you now vibe on the frequency of the earth, you're going to end up finding yourself, you're going to attract situations where you're going to cause you, fish will kick you out because you don't want you anymore. You're a rogue cell, you're a bad cell. Imagine a rogue bad cell in the body where you be a shit where you know you do. The body is going to automatically want to kick out that cell or kill it. You get to me, I say? And that's how the earth works. If you don't have vibe on the frequency where she has deal with, you know, I find yourself now some fuckery, some gang violence, and some. That's not the purpose of life. The purpose of life, life is not to kill other beings. And 
be able to like your body and the other which is thing in that earth. That's not the purpose of life, you get the message? If you, if, if you do them something, they, you easily like go find yourself transcending this dimension. Because the earth will just kick you, kick you somewhere else where you, where you want that. If you're a warrior, you're going to find a planet where you're dealing with war. That is where you're going to get. You get the message? If you're a peaceful person, if peace is what the earth will deal with, the earth will accept you and keep you. But if you're, if you are vibing at a vibration that the earth, is not, the earth don't want to have nothing to do with, the earth just going to kick you out. That's just the laws of vibration. Or the, or the physics. I never make it up. You know, I just go study it and learn it, same like the other scientists them. So, yeah man, that's about physical immortality. I don't want to bring it, I don't want to make it too long, you know. You get what I say? So yes, the Bible spoke of it, people. Physical immortality. And that's why you see Noah and enough of the ancestors them will read about in the Bible. Because as I told you before, the Bible is talking about melanated beings. You know, black people. <laughs> you get what I say? We so great that them have write stories about you say. <laughs> And I write more stories again like Bowie to watch. You know? So yeah man, all of them people here used to live so much in 400 odd years, thousand odd years, you know. And if I never make up numbers them they know. These beings were literally living to, to those year, years and ages simply because them did understand life. Them understand say the more physical toxins, the more you consume or the more or the more you diminish your cells them, you know? And the less you eat. The less you eat, the less physical you eat, the less material things you eat, like even tea, water, you know. Over time, the body adapts because the melanated body is so powerful. The body is a very intelligent being, people. The body, this physical body, as I say, reflects the spiritual being, it's intelligent. And the spirit can survive without food. Why can't the body survive without food? For are gods, right? Which god you will see need food to survive? No, black people don't need food. We don't need food, we are producers, we are creators, we don't need to consume to survive. No. We're good. We are we I train up two people are just not understand the biology, you know, the biology of fucking black people. Do you know what we are? If you ever realize what you are, that's why I'm just scared to make you know. If you, if you ever know what you can do with this fucking vessel. Me still up on my journey of understanding this vessel. I don't understand it fully yet. But my grasp, some understanding and Based on the understanding of me, grass, you make me feel like I got a to ask cloud. So, imagine when I learn more about what you can do. I'm sure I'm just crash the surface of what this body can actually do. You know, I have vessel, try it out. If I get a new car, you wouldn't try it out. You wouldn't see how fast it can go. You know, you wouldn't see if it probably can fly. You know, suppose a car can fly. You wouldn't know, okay, you wouldn't test it out. You get the message? You wouldn't know, I'll let you test out the car. You say, yo, shit, this can fly, you know. You know, even though they don't put it in the manual. Shit, me just test out and I care a fly rasta, you see? So that's how we need to discover and study, you know? Dive deep in our own biology. Who can understand your biology more than you, you know? Nobody else. You alone can manage You alone can understand you, you see? You know, are you run the vehicle here? Are you change the aisle? Are you fucking tap it up? Nobody know it like you, not even the mechanic, you know? <laughs> Which is the doctor. So big up, one love the journey YouTube channel. Remember man, stop eating so much people, stop consuming so much. Why you think food depend on the fucking everywhere you look is advertisements about food. Them know say food that kill you. Them advertise death everywhere. Cause that's what they promote. Them not try to promote no life. People who promote life don't go down go around cutting down trees. People who promote life don't go around poisoning the water. You get what me I say? Wake up people. That's what the government been doing. Poisoning the fucking water, poisoning the food. Modifying the fucking plants genetically is a, a biological warfare going on, people. Even the, even, even the plants, they mod, even the seeds, they modified, you know. You get what I say? So, you better know what you are doing this time. So, if they poison the food, who else can fucking the earth have de de develop a way for fucking? Because remember, you know, nature always finds a way, you know. So, you know what I'm going to end that video. One Love the Journey YouTube channel. Big up. Like, comment, share, subscribe.